Welcome everybody to Consistently Creative Crops. I'm Colleen and tonight we'll, I'm walking you through uh, an idea, an original idea from Melissa Ullman using the, um, creating this page. Oops, I'm trying to get out of my shadow. That doesn't work. Uh, anyway, create, creating this great fun seaside page. So what you're gonna need are um, designer four designer papers. And you don't need the whole sheets of everything. <laughs> the first two papers, we're going to cut them apart and then weld them together. This will be your background. These two papers together will be your background. You can see the light blue on one side and the dark blue in the center. And then we will um, use a tonal paper for the wheel. I'm using a different piece than what was um, suggested because you know we can be creative. And then we have uh, this tonal paper, which is the center of your um, wheel and photo mats. And obviously you can adjust this to any papers you have. This darker paper is the border maker cartridge. I'll see how much I have left over. If I have enough left over, I might just use the same color. And then you just are gonna use a little bit on the edge on either side of this Creative Memories beach paper as they're calling it, because that was the, um, the beach towel paper. You also will need two scraps to do the welding. I happened to go into my scraps and I had two that these aren't even the same size, but they'll work perfectly fine as long as they're 12 inches. And a scrap to punch out your anchor. So I went into my scraps. And the example uses um, three variety mat packs, stickers, and the gorgeous layered embellishments. Uh, and if you didn't know it, the Seaside Paper Pack is back in stock as of 5.30 today. So it had been sold out. And so the gorgeous layered embellishments. For tools, you'll need your 12 inch trimmer, your custom cutting circles, the blades, which I have failed to pick up. Thank you, Cheryl, for talking about it. Also the corner rounder, not a tool we use very much. Back in the day, we use the corner rounder on every single photo in every single mat. Um, but anyway, that's what helps make the, um, the shapes for the edges of the wheel. The anchor punch and the rope border maker cartridge. I'm trying to show it so you can see it. So yeah, it's a lot, but I think the page that we end up with is going to be stunning. Um, so I also, you can use the circle cutter. The instructions give you instructions for the circle cutter. Which I believe is sold out, but it's coming back. So um, the circle cutter or also the option is to use the jumbo circle. Slightly different on the measurement, but close enough, close enough for government work. And since Cheryl mentioned which blades, I'm gonna make sure I grab my blades. Uh, does everybody have their papers picked out? Yeah. Yes. Okay, let's start. So if you notice the sample, there's a light blue paper on the left-hand side of the left page is five inches and there's a darker blue that's seven inches. And then to, on the right-hand page, that darker blue page is five inches and that lighter blue page is seven inches. So we are gonna cut both of these pieces of paper apart. And just for Cheryl, I'm gonna stack them on top of each other and cut. Myself to do that. Sorry. You can't can, you, do that. can you spotlight yourself, Colleen, or someone spotlight her? Because I, I oh, she's not. 
I am excited for me. I am. I am. Sw swipe over on your i on your iPhone on a different page. Okay. Do you see it? I can see it, but it's one of like different squares. I'm trying to get it so it's there. It is. Okay, I got it. Okay, if you just keep going, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna cut the two um, papers at five inches, and that will give us two five inch pieces and two seven inch pieces. Correct? Somebody check my math. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I need extra special help today. <laughs> pages, the light blue. And the dark blue. Okay, can you show, is the dark blue what's on the back of the light blue or is it the different one? Um, not the sure. What back of the shells, shells was the dark blue. Got it, okay. And so then what we're gonna do is the left-hand page, I'm waiting for Deanna so she can cut. Cause I appreciate that you don't wanna cut both at the same time. Yeah, I, it makes me fancy, sorry. That's quite all right. When we're putting them together, the light blue on the left-hand side is five inches with the seven inches of the dark blue. On the right-hand side, the dark blue is five inches and the light blue is seven inches. And then if you already had, if you were lucky like me and already had scraps, you just need to cut a 12 inch, whatever width to weld these papers together. And then we're gonna build the rest of the page on top of these. Again, I say on the left-hand side, the light blue is five inches and you're welding it to seven inches of the dark blue. And on the right-hand side, it's five inches of the dark blue and seven inches of the light blue. And then for welding, just gonna turn it over on my mat, line it up in the square, should just go right next to each other, but you know. And um, put tape runner down my scrap. Um, I will give you time to, this ends up being a one inch wide scrap. That's usually larger than I would usually do. But since I found them, I thought I'd take that gift and just go with it. So I'm just putting my pages together and laying it right on top. I wonder when, if we'll ever get in the dictionary, the word well will mean put two pieces of scrapbook paper together. What do you guys think? <laughs> it should. It should, but I don't know that's gonna happen. I want a little bit not right on top of each other. So there we go. Okay. Is everybody clear on the measurements? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I apologize. I should have given you more time for cutting your scrap of paper. That's good. All good. Okay. So after you get your welding done, you can pull out your piece of paper you're going to do for the um, wheel. So pretty makes me look at the beach. Has anybody had a beach vacation already? No, not this year. Not well, not yet. <laughs> I not want yet. to. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, we're going to head to Cape Cod um, in September after Labor Day. <coughs> well, that's always a good time to go. Yeah, and stay with my uh, college roommate at her house. So that will be nice. Perfect. Yeah. And relax. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can set those papers aside. And you want to grab the paper you're going to use for your wheel. I'm gonna. I have the circle cutter, but I don't feel up to using it tonight. I'm not a hundred percent. So. Um, if you use the blue blade, you get about an eight and a quarter inch cut. On the, um, for the wheel. Oh, I had all the measurements and I forgot to put them out. <laughs> Oops. Anybody need them? <laughs> And I know Kari is typing away. That's okay. I, I, I printed the direction, so I'm okay. good. I know Deanna doesn't usually have op opportunity to get to print. I'm <laughs> copying them from your nice instructions, so I'm not typing away tonight. Okay, good, good, good. That's what I did too. So I'm okay. Glad that makes that work. All right. I just want to talk this through and you guys can help me. Um, look, because you can look at the directions. If I'm cutting on the inside with the green, with the blue blade to get an eight inch, then the directions say the next thing is the green blade on the outside. Okay, then that's gonna work. Oops. Okay, blue blade inside, green blade outside? Correct. If okay. you're using the, um, if you're using the circle cutter, you can actually get what they want you to cut, which is eight inches. So just be careful when you're putting cutting because I'm gonna be very close to the edge of my paper when I make the second cut. Just to confirm, you do the blue blade on the inside first and then the green blade on the outside second. Correct. That's what the directions say. You're, you feel free to wait and watch me do it and see how it ends up. Yeah, this is not going to work. Hold on, guys. This isn't working. It's going to be really big. Yes, that's too big. I apologize. It's too big. It's too big. Do I owe everybody a piece of paper? Why the large one would be the front of the circle? Use the green blade on the outside. At least play it on the inside. You got cut up, Deanna. What? I only did the blue blade on the inside. Okay, that might be good. I believe my mistake is thinking that it's the jumbo blade. I think you're supposed to use the small circle on the inside. That's what I wanted to do. Is it? Hold on. I think right. you're supposed to, there you go. The largest yes, yes. circle. The larger, there we go. That's inside. Okay, that makes more sense. Because yep. now you'll have 
the pieces to cut the spokes too, because we Correct. weren't we weren't gonna have spokes. I was I'll concerned about the spokes. <laughs> right. Yep. 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 Okay. okay. So now we're gonna do. The green blade on the outside of the large of the largest circle, not the jumbo. Do you get it, Deanna? I think so. Yeah, green blade, largest circle outside. Correct. Not the jumbo, as I I incorrectly assumed. I'm sorry, guys. I've been under the weather, and I haven't. I did not get to try this out. Okay. So my apologies. All right, so. Okay. Circle. Now we've got our wheel. And I've got some welding to do. <laughs> you know, they didn't really explain how to cut, cut with the circle cutter. Because it says set it at eight inches, but then it doesn't tell you what to do for the next part. No, you, so how, how wide is your wheel? Oh, I think that the, the instructions are to use your pattern for that oh. second circle. Okay, That's so not, even if you cut with your circle cutter. They wanted you to use this for the other one. Ah, okay. Uh, I can't, I don't have any, the wherewithal to weld this together tonight. I will just grab a different piece of paper. So then we're cutting four pieces, a half inch by 12 of the same paper that you cut your circle from. And if you cut it in the center, like I did, you'll still have room on, on the ends to get your pieces. I'm glad this paper's back in stock because the girlfriend I'm going to visit, I'm doing her wedding album. She uh, eloped to Nantucket last year and they got married on a boat. So what perfect, what a perfect kit, you know, paper pack, seaside, a sailboat. All right, how's everybody doing? How bad? I'm sorry, what? it's 12 inches by four inches no one half inch okay by 12 four times Got it. and you know the inside mark on your trimmer the grid, that's the half inch. And then you need to corner around all the ends. Of those four pieces. Number three, number four. I don't know, Cheryl, how could I have cut those faster? Always willing uh, to learn. <laughs> well, I was thinking about it, cutting the piece of paper in half and then. Yeah, but that's okay. I'm going to, I am going to corner around two at a time and see if that works. Yeah, when you get to, when you get pieces that small, I don't, I don't, I'm not comfortable with the cutter holding, yeah. you know, holding yeah. a straight. 
So, oh, this is a little tricky. Because this corner rounder doesn't stop. So, hmm. What corner rounder doesn't stop? The old one or the new one? Well, the new one, you push your paper right in. It goes. It goes in kind of far. Yeah, but I, they want it to be shorter. Oh, I didn't push it in all the way. I'm just. Oh, I see what you're saying now. Yep. See what I'm, you know what I'm talking about now? Yep. Yeah. So you can do two at a time with that. And, but you can't put it in all the way. You just kind of go halfway. You know what I'm saying? Yep. That's what halfway I'm doing. So you, take, the, you can do in the two middle of at the, a time, but really yeah. just go to the, um, like the middle the corner. Let me see if I can hold this up. Oh, there's like a little line on the corner thingy. Just mm -hmm. take the edge of the paper and then I'm flipping it over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They come out, they do come out pointy. That's the intention of them. Really? Yeah, they're meant okay. to look pointy. Oh, all right. Oh, I thought we were trying to like make them rounded. Well, they're yeah. rounded with a, I'm trying to put something under here. They're rounded with a, with a point, with a rounded point. Okay, gotcha. Right? Yep. Are we gonna keep these whole? Yes. Okay. All right. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. When you place it on the page, we're gonna cut one, one, one or two of them are gonna get end up getting trimmed. All right. Okay. Nice to have a new trick for the corner rounder. Nice. That looks good. Uh -huh. All right. So next is lay your strips on the circle. Line up. on the angles, line up your strips on the angles. I'm doing. Hmm. I have them on the 90. And then straight across. And then in between. Okay, and then they tell you to put your circle on top. Hmm. I want to just match up my wheel grain. Does anybody need the image? Here's what we're looking at for the final for our wheels. Oh, they got crooked. 
Uh, a snowflake. Oh, I just put a um, taper on, you know, piece, just kept layering it on the next piece in the center. Yeah. And then I'm going to add on the back of the circle where the pieces hit. Okay. I think I'm going to start over. And then flip it up. And we're still going to cut another circle to cover up the center. How's everybody doing? Good. Good. <laughs> They don't tell us which circle to use. Mm. Dealer choice. Dealer choice, exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh, it says the large custom setting system circle with the blue blade on the inside. Okay. They do tell us. It's just is so proper. I didn't understand it. So the ins basically they're, they're saying the inside of your circle, the piece that we took out of the center, you can cut your blade. Blue blade on the inside with the large circle. Blue blade on the inside with the large circle. Oh, well, now I'm looking wonky. What? Blue blade. The blue blade, the large circle on the inside. I will set it on my table so you can see. The wheel's a little off. Just need to scooch it up a bit. Okay. Is everybody up? Have you cut the same yes. circle. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. We need the medium blade with the, excuse me, the medium circle with the red blade. And the, uh, Paper for the center, the center piece. Medium circle with the red blade inside. Where'd I put my 
All right, and that goes right on top of your other circle. We've got some layering going on. Which I love, I think it adds such depth. Lost my little paper. I was coming oh, there. It is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so cute. Interesting. The instructions <clears throat> don't ever tell you to cut it in two. <laughs> oh, are we cutting it, our? Um... It does. It says. Um, Lay the wheel on the left side of the spread, use scissors to cut off anything hanging off on the right, and then you hear those pieces to the right side of the oh, spread. Oh, okay, thank you. Oh, man, okay. Wow. Here we go. <clears throat> the left-hand side piece of paper, first of all, is everybody finished with their wheel? Not mm -hmm. quite. Okay. So I don't have my punch, but I don't know if you noticed the um, embellishment pack has a beautiful. Oh, nice. It fits right in there. Yeah, here it's, let me show. This is what Cheryl's using. Yeah, I left my anchor at home in Connecticut. Oh, you have another one too. Hold on, there's more than one. No, my punch, I left my anchor punch in Connecticut. Oh, okay, yeah. So then there so you is, can use the that embellishment. You can use the embellishment. Also, I don't know. This one's pretty too. I don't know if it would make sense to do it, but um, it's like a the compass. The compass with the wheel on the wheel. That's kind of cool too. Yeah. If you, you know, if you wanted to make another one and you don't have the punch, yeah, you want to use the embellishment. You would have to cut a bigger um, middle circle because it has white under it. And it's the size of the circle that we cut. Yep. That looks great. I like our paper that we picked, Colleen. Yeah. You happy with it? Oh, yes, I am too. Yes. Did you end up using the same different one as me? Yes. Okay. So it was darker wood on one side and then like the white. Yeah. yeah that looks great. And mine is not staying together very well. I need to go add more. I'm going to put repo on it. Barely staying together. It well, won't steer straight if the wheel is crooked. <laughs> All right, now. Oh. So the way they show it is, are you good, Deanna? Yep. yep. Okay. The design shows um, you bring the wheel almost to the edge of the bottom of the paper. There's very, there's very small amount of that bottom spoke that stays on. And you just slide it over to cut off a small amount of the center wheel. You use your creativity and do it whichever way you like. And I'm using my micro tip scissors. I think this would not work in the cutter simply because of the, um, but, yeah, watch Cheryl prove me wrong. Cheryl, 
Do you think what? Did you just cut it? <laughs> no. I'm gonna cut, I'm putting my pages together and then I'm gonna see what it looks like when everything's like on. Oh, okay. All right. And then I'm gonna cut it. I have my photos already, so I know what I'm doing. Yeah, so you know what you're yeah. So I'm gonna put this all together and not cut my wheel until I get my photos because I have a trip planned, like it was a little sailing adventure that we went on. And so I just was not able to get the pictures printed, but yeah. well, you have a few other things going on. But I like your suggestion, so I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna keep mine together and I'm gonna continue with the layout just to make sure that I'm not sad that I cut it apart and then where I ended up. Because you know me, I like to change my mind 15 times. That's why it takes me forever. <laughs> so let's just keep it simple. Okay, so I'm just laying it on there currently. Now we're gonna cut two pieces from the beach towel paper. the stripey paper and uh, they're only two inches there, um, excuse me, one inch, two strips of one inch. And they're gonna be mounted the far left and the far right. So I'm going to get that red stripe so that it goes on my paper. I'm gonna cut one from the left and one from the right of my paper so that I have that on both of them. Oh, interesting. They cut theirs this way. So they got the all the colors on it. Yeah. I I cut mine going up and down. Oh. So you do you. So two one inch strips go on either side. You don't want to mount them yet because then you're going to, um, the next thing you're gonna do is cut two ropes. And I'm going to use the, the back side of this paper to cut my ropes. This is what I use for my center of my um, wheel. And I'm gonna cut my rope border maker out of these, out of this. Mm. Oops. That didn't sound good. I just did a boo boo. <laughs> just an opportunity for something else. Oh, uh, let me see now how I want to fix this. That's what I get for doing something different. This was going to be in the middle. Um, hmm. You're still going to do something different and it's still going to look great. Um, I still could take it apart because I used repo, you know. There you go, see? So I could, let me see. I like the way I, my mistake. <laughs> Is anybody not using seaside paper? Me? <laughs> Great, and you're, I can't wait to see what you do, Peg. I'm sorry, Pat. I'm not using yep. it either. Okay. Oh, I'm excited to see what you do. Um, I don't know that I'd be too excited at this point, looking at what I've done. Hold your breath. I have confidence in Sunshine. I have confidence in you, Kari. Okay. All right, so. You too, Pat. Wait, this is this side. Okay. And that is that, okay. Going back to my original plan. Oh. 
So then you take your rope. Thank you, Repo. And you put it under your, you tuck it under the um, striped paper so it's peeking out. There we go. Well, that's what it looks like, but I don't know. It doesn't say that. Yes, because she also used, she doesn't, doesn't even say it, but she used the sticker that is rope also. Yes, she did. So that's why it looks a little different. Actually, it looks really good. I did mine with the rope uh, sticker and the rope order maker cartridge, and it looks good. If I do say so myself, <laughs> good. which I just did. Yeah, so, but I just want to figure out how did you layer it, Cheryl? Oh, um, so I just put the edge of the rope border maker cartridge uh, against that stripey paper. Okay, you, you had them butt up to each other? Yeah, just kind of slightly overlapping on some of the humps. Okay. Because I, when I first did it, I didn't have it because I didn't think I would like it. But then when I put my other rope on top of it, it um, it had a gap. So it looks better without the gap in my opinion, so. Mind the gap, fill the gap so, in. Yeah, so I, I didn't like the little gap. So you All right. overlap, overlap a little bit with your border maker cartridge. So. Mount the one inch stripe and then Put your rope on top. I'm using repositionable because you know I'm going to want to move it around. My Lord, how did we ever live without repositionable? <laughs> we lived, but we weren't fully happy about it. Well, we spent so much time undoing, undoing, <laughs> undoing. And praying it didn't wreck your paper. Exactly. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. I'm loving it. Okay. One side done. Let's get the other side done. I think we ought to collectively send a thank you note to the person that re invented repositionable paper. <laughs> Let's find out about this person. They must be making a fortune. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Uh, based on, you know, sometimes. Well, it's the product developed for Creative Memories by a Creative Memories employee. They might not be getting jack squat because it's licensed by Creative Memories. Right. Oh, true. That's like the man that invented the intermittent wipers didn't make any money off of that. Because uh, he worked for one of the com companies. Mm. For intellectual property. Yes. Okay, I'm going to add rope on top of rope. Could 
also do the seashell one too. That would be cute. Oh. <laughs> the seashell sticker. Yeah. So my thing um, was a sunset cruise on a lake in Michigan. So nice. I'm specifically not doing any shells shells and that kind of thing so there's mm -hmm. a lot of driftwood so i'm using this thing let your cares drift away cool nice my, um my, my what do you call it mat or whatever um <laughs> and then there are some little words on the sticker thingies that aren't like you know related so i can use that all right well next is uh cutting your mats i'm going to keep going with my tonal paper there also is the other red paper that has the blue on the back And I, Kari, already loaded up the, the measurements. Five inches by three and three quarters. So my piece of paper. Yeah. I see Eleanor joined. So hello, Eleanor. 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 Hey everybody, I'm driving, so oh, I'm listening. <laughs> I'm listening and I'm peeking at my phone when it's safe. It looks okay. really pretty. <laughs> oh, thanks. Oh, thanks. Well, we have this All right, I'm cutting my, um, I'm doing the five inches by three and three quarters. So I cut a strip that's five inches long. Now I'm just cutting up into three and three quarters. Is that for a photo? Yes. Those are for the photos on the right-hand side. So if you want to not cut your mats until you put your photo on it. Yeah, I'm going to wait. I'm not cutting my mats. I think, did I end up cutting five or six? Oh, I ended up cutting mine at six. Oh. Six inches and three and three quarters. So that there's a break in the, um, you can see the paper in between. And the, um, let me put my mats on here. Oops. Mm. Ah, so cute. Aha, interesting. They... Okay, journaling box, the title. Now we've got room over here and room up here for photos. So I'm gonna cut another mat. Excuse me, Carly. I used up most of all the paper for my, um, I just can cut 
smaller mat. I feel good about that because it's that's then I've ended up using up this whole piece. Yeah. Full a quarter by three and a quarter. Let's see, this is no. Four and a quarter by three and a quarter. That gets tucked in up here. Uh oh, run out of room. I'm going to use a photo mat for the other photo. There's, um, oh, yeah, there, we need to punch our anchor. We have a scrap. Eleanor, where are you? I just picked a dark navy cardstock scrap I had. For my Carol, oh, my hands were full and I was opening my door. I just got to my hotel in, oh. in Albany. Albany, okay. <laughs> I have to work tomorrow, so I had to drive out, but I was like, I'm going to listen so that I'll be inspired to scrapbook when I get back home. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> okay. I think that's everything but embellishments. Oh, I see they layered these. And I have photos that I picked. I think they're gonna work. Um, I think we can pause the recording. I can do that. The recording. Okay, so I want to remind everybody that we have our templates, tips, and tricks class coming up here in a week and a half. So that's going to be on August 28th. It's a Saturday afternoon from 1 to 5. And we are going to be... It's kind of broken down into four sections. We're gonna be giving some general tips and tricks about using recipe templates. And then we're each gonna show a layout made with the sunshine template. So just to remind you, this is what the sunshine template looks like. Sorry, I have some glare there, but. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna make one layout with this. And then we're each gonna show a layout using the sunny days journal template and Cheryl's going to demonstrate a layout there that you can make along with us and then the third template we're going to do again all of us are going to show a different layout but then Colleen is going to lead a layout made with the botanical burst template 
So we wanna give you guys some ideas and tips on how to use all of the different templates that are applicable to all of them, but then also show you some of the versatility that you can use with each one individually. And they're not, I, I was surprised as we were working on this, how many different things you can do with them. So if you have not already registered, you're gonna to wanna to do that. Um, we've actually got a fairly good crowd coming. And if you can't make it that day, it will all be recorded and we'll be recording it in parts. So it won't be the whole four hours all in one video and you'll be able to take a look at that at your leisure after the fact, as well as sharing the pictures and the layouts that you make. And we do have some prizes. So be sure to register and the class is $15. And that's payable to whichever of the three consultants that you work with. Anybody have any questions? That sounds good. Awesome. I have, I have to find out if I'm working or not. That's the only problem. Well, even if you're working that day, you can watch the videos afterwards and go through it all. We can still, you can still get the handouts. There'll be a private Facebook page that'll have the handouts and we'll do a Zoom link and we'll be re posting recordings there. Okay. So even if you're not available that day, that's okay. I know for our NSD, as well as our use the collection class, there were definitely people who did it afterwards. So you're welcome yeah. to do that. Yeah. Okay, fast forward. I cut my photos to fit the mats. I added a journaling box. I haven't journaled yet. I, I like, I have to have time to do that. Um, and uh, adding embellishments. Um, these come with, uh, Seaside Collection comes with layered embellishments that make it pretty easy. It's done. You just pop it down. <laughs> um, I'm also building over here using foam squares. And you know, it's different, it's different for me, but um, I'm getting used to it. Uh, embellishing, embellishing on top of photos. That yeah, is just that's great. something I would ever do before. Uh, but now I, I like it and I just have to keep um, stretching myself to do it. And then over on the right-hand side, I have the driftwood with the shells, which goes perfect for this title flat that we were on, on Cape Cod. And I'm using foam squares, <laughs> using the uh, you know, three items, three embellishments, and you should, pop up one of them, of the three, and have the seaside stick out. Uh, so what happened while you were gone is I did cut my wheel apart, and the directions instruct you to use your scissors. But of course, Cheryl, who's very creative, um, gave the idea to use your trimmer. And what I did was, it was mounted on the left-hand side. I turned over my page with the anchor hanging off, lined it up on the cutting line and just used my trimmer to cut it off. <laughs> Flipped it back over, um, stuck it down the rest, the rest of it on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, um, I just put a bunch of repositionable on the back of it lined up my two pages and then using the reposition of, you know, stuck down the other side of the anchor. So that's another way to create it. So there's my finished pages. I just need to add my, um, my journal. That looks great. Thanks. Um, also, you know, please remember to post your layout in the album. The albums are by date. So there's already an album created so you can post your layout. And if you didn't hear the, um, the, suicide, the seaside uh, papers that were sold out are back in stock today as of like 5.30 PM. 
So uh, I hope you enjoyed making this layout with us and we look forward to seeing what you can do with it. Is there anything else, crew? I think that's it. Thanks, Colleen, that's it was great. great. Thanks everybody. Thank you. Have a good night. Good night, everybody. Bye.